What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of This is the Police. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here as we unleash the whoop whoop on everybody that gets in our way. And so anyways, Rogers is responsible for Freeburg PD breakdown. A hearse crashes into ambulance. No survivors. Yikes. Price of alcohol to increase by 60%. I feel like I should have some kind of quip for that one. But I got nothing. A hearse crashes into an ambulance. My brain is reaching for straws right now, but it's drawing back nothing. Mm, is what it is. I just woke up like eight seconds ago anyways. And I rolled out of bed and I said, you know what I want to do today? I want to record some This is the Police. Not even on the schedule. Supposed to have the day off. But you know what? Forget it. Beasley and Grant got food poisoning and expect to be in the hospital for the next five days. What kind of food poisoning did you get? had food poisoning before. It knocked me out for five days. Maybe like two. Maybe three. If it's especially bad, maybe like a week. Maybe, but I don't, I don't think I've ever... That's the kind of food poisoning where it's kind of your fault. Like, what did you eat? Something that was obviously rotten? I don't know. Unfortunately, we're going to be short-handed then. That's not... I mean, I'm always short-handed because I'm a small dude. But you get what I mean. We're going to be short-handed. I think both of them are from the other shift, though. I think they're both on shift B. I'll have to investigate in just a minute. Uh, play whoever you want. I don't really care. We'll just click something randomly. Looks good to me. Singing them by John Sangster. See, that's actually kind of punny because he's got a song called Singing It and then his name has Sang in it. I don't know. Sing, sang, sung. Singing. Singed. Singed. Huh. Singed and singed would be the same. Maybe that's why we say, hmm. Maybe that's why it's an irregular verb. Alright, well... The mob has got our share of an automatic weapon. We're going to share that with the staff. We want everybody's hands to be as dirty as possible. Oh my god, the corn monument is under attack. There's vandalism. An elderly woman has reported that children wearing hoodies have painted rude words on a nearby monument. We'll send Jack Black. The Atticus Tower. A teenage girl slipped past the skyscraper guards and found her way onto the roof. She is now standing on the edge. A guard called the police and said that he was afraid to approach the girl. He could tell that she was serious. All right, so send Justin Robbins, please. For the homicide. Oh, yeah, we needed to arrest somebody. I forgot about that. We got to arrest the kid because he murdered his mom over a video game. He's getting super serious about that smash, about that League of Legends. So salty right now. So salty. Uh, let's take, I guess, Mitchell will go out and Anderson will go out. Please catch them, for the love of God. When you mess up, it's horrible. If you mess up, like, an investigation, it's the worst. I would have preferred to have sent Mitchell and Robbins, but that's all that I got. That crime is probably not going to get... A trucker saw a teenage boy climb over the fence in the middle of the bridge. The driver stopped, tried to talk to the boy, but he became hysterical and said, Don't come any closer or I'll jump. What does City Hall want? City Hall wants something, right? Oh, okay, I can either expand my force. Gotcha. So I can get more detectives, I can get a weekly raise, or I can get a SWAT upgrade. Let's get another officer slot. We've got a report of vandalism. So he caught the offender, which is good. He got himself a little bit of a bonus right there. The suicidal kid, I don't think we're going to have anybody back in time. I, unfortunately, they were like, bam, 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 in short succession and they hit me with like five things that needed to be handled so got the perpetrator there so it's all taken care of at the Atticus Tower homicide offender was caught I mean it's a little kid what are you gonna if you, if you mess that up I'd be really really surprised I'd be like what do you do shoot at you with a nerf gun or something come on case closed we arrested all suspects everybody gets their level up and everybody's happy suicide threat the offender escaped civilian killed I'm going to kill myself! And then nobody gave him any attention, so he just lost his shit and started shooting random people. I wonder if that's, like, determined randomly, or if that's determined, like, as part of the event. Well, apparently, he wasn't just suicidal, he was homicidal. That's no bueno. They had to find some way to punish me for not responding. And they did. Although, it's really kind of, eh, it's somebody I don't even know. Not really a punishment. In all honesty, like, ah, I don't even know the guy. Oh, well. So we've got a hit and run at the city center. Oh my god, there's a lot of crime today. A pedestrian said that he saw a dark pickup careen into the sidewalk and hit two teenage uh, skateboarders. It didn't even slow down, just smeared these poor kids and kept driving straight ahead. That drunk freak. Alright, send Justin Peterson. 
Got an animal assault. We received a rambling call from a man who claims he came home from work to find a huge cat sitting on his doorstep ready to attack. It was growling like a Tyrannosaurus, muttered the victim. Send Anderson. A pensioner looked out of her window and saw a crowd of naked people running through the street. She didn't know what to think and called her neighbor, who also witnessed the outrageous spectacle. The women together called the police and demanded an immediate explanation. When well, you're asking me what they're doing it for, people always have the most unreasonable like, expectations when it comes to, like, service workers. Like, what are you mad at me for? A situation is more serious than we thought, requesting reinforcements. Are you... Uh... I guess then, I don't know. I mean, I don't really have extra people. Like, we gotta go to this orderly conduct. I don't really want to send Robbins and Mitchell alone to this one. Uh, I don't want to do this. This is not going to work out well. I know it. So they caught that guy. That's fantastic. The animal assault. The reported Catasaurus Rex is just an ordinary neighbor's pet and poses no threat to anybody. Yeah, that's about what I figured. I wouldn't have even responded to the call. I'd be like, there's a cat on your porch and you're calling the police about this. You need to get off my phone before I arrest you for calling in false alarms. I'd be in real bad mood. Oh, we caught the offender. All they needed see two officers and a paddy wagon. Never underestimate the proficiency of Robbins and Mitchell is what it really comes down to. The Sands needs help. What's he need help with? The guest of Mr. Sand is leaving Freebird. Or Freeburg, but some punks somehow learned the route and prepared an ambush. It's turning into a shootout, and we need all the help we can get. Alright. Send some cops over. Do it sooner rather than later. I've still got some really, really good cops ready to go. Hopefully, they don't get blapped or get themselves in any kind of trouble, because I can't afford that right now. Christopher G. Sands Ice Arena. Looks like Varga let a bunch of angry punks off the leash, and now they're brawling with our men outside the ice rink. There's a few dozen people in the brawl, so the police better step in and cool things off. We sort of have to respond to these. Otherwise, if our side loses the mob war, it's really not going to bode well for us. We have a vested interest at this point. Varga probably knows that we're helping the other side. And if he wins the gang war, it, it's going to be house cleaning for us. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be open season. And so we really, at first we did it just to make money, but now it's more of a self-preservation technique as well. It is what it is. We have an unlawful assembly. Destruction of property. A lot of that is going to depend on how fast they can get back to the station. Let's see. The supermarket manager, Sonia Franco, reports that an elderly woman deliberately overturned the vegetable table and is refusing to pay for damages. He tried to escape, but the store guards managed to detain the offender. And then this one right here... We're going to miss. Nothing found there. If I open the investigation... That one's just sitting there. Like, seriously. I don't know why we're struggling so much with this one. Unless they were in on it together, I suppose, those two are working together, that's the only way I could think of this working, because it obviously wasn't him that did it. So let's say we take this back, go to here, and then we go like that. At 1 o'clock, the lights went out, shut the door behind me, janitor's cart was in the hallway... Let's see, the janitor came in. I don't think they're working in collusion, though. Interestingly enough, I just don't feel like we have the things we need in order to make this happen. I mean, honestly, I don't think it's the janitor, either. I sincerely do not. I, I think it's the doctor, but they don't like that order right there. Which leaves us in kind of an interesting situation.
Hmm. You'd think we'd have more information about whether or not this was pried open or whether it was opened. I mean, there are simple observational things you can do as a detective. Just look at the box. Does it look like it was pried open or does it look like it was open with a key? If it looks otherwise fine, it was obviously opened by somebody who had a key. But yeah, for this investigation, I don't know. I, I really do not know. I don't feel like the whole story is there, but... Why has everybody got to murder somebody? Like, there are a lot of murders in this city. Like, there are a lot, a lot of murders. Like, so many murders that I would actually think the governor would probably declare a state of emergency or something. There are a lot of murders here. Like, it's only been a month, and we've had upwards of, like, 15 murders, including three police officers. That's definitely National Guard territory, where it's just like, all right, we're calling in the National Guard. That's, like, a lot. That's a lot, a lot. Vicus Varga has been defeated and his army of street punks and thugs has been broken. No one knows what happened to Vicus himself, but it doesn't matter now. He'll never show his face in the city again. Yeah, I was hoping you guys whacked him. Because I would really prefer not to have him come back after me. Zoo animal starving. Freeburg host to greatest lasagna in history. Toilet stolen from the city hall. You know, when it comes to my lasagna, I like it better the day after than I like it the day of. You gotta let it sit for a little while. You gotta, like, put it in the fridge for a bit and let it settle and become, like, a food brick. That's when it's always the best. Give the feta some time to solidify. Like, fresh lasagna is cool. Like, I don't mind fresh lasagna. I just like it after it's set for a little while. There's a big sale going on today, and I don't want to miss it. Can I have the day off? See, Gaben, you are messing with law enforcement. If you were trying to stay home... So that they can get copies of Rage for cheaper. Come on now. No, you're staying at work. Start the day off. Let's pick something to play here. Chimin. Apparently that's his thing. Chimin. Singing. I wonder if the band from We or from uh, Mighty Wind was making fun of that. Because all their album names were the same way. Please be advised that we are unhappy with the efficiency of the pre work PE. We're cutting the department's budget. So... You realize that makes no sense whatsoever. You don't have enough cops, so we're firing your cops. You don't have enough cops to respond to everything, so we're taking away your police force. Like, are you stupid? Like, come on, City Hall. You cannot possibly be this moronic. God. Um, somebody from Shift Day is gonna have to go, unfortunately. I guess it'll be Williams. We're one up right now, so it's not that bad. And then our job slot request was denied. That's weird that they can deny that. Huh. We're down an officer today, which is going to make this really, really interesting. A man took his dog out for a walk, and upon returning home, noticed a crouched hooded figure fumbling with a car at the end of the street. All right, send Yancey. One at a time. We're going to have to play this very, very lightweight because we simply do not have the officers today. And this could start a rolling kind of spiral of death where if we can't respond to every single call with the officers that we have. Attempted carjacking. Somebody's already there. Give him Brock, I guess. It's close. It's not that far, so... I don't think he needs that much help. It only suggested two officers. They'll probably be fine. We've got a hostage situation at the city center. Hopefully they'll be back in a moment. There it is. We'll close that on down. As soon as they get back, we'll take a look and see what we can accomplish over here. This We do have a better force on this side, so they should be able to solo situations that they weren't able to handle before. A man with dilated pupils boarded a bus, then pulled a gun. He's demanding the bus immediately leave for Africa. He wants the rain down in Africa. Send everything we got. That's all that we have. We have an abduction over there, so hopefully they get finished soon. Hostage situation appears to have been resolved. Get our officers back shortly so we can send somebody out to respond to this abduction. Apparently, we've got like an alien situation. 
one that I'm not familiar with. An anonymous call came in. Hello, I have information about a missing girl named Lisa Pettigrew. I kidnapped her a week ago, but now she's ready to go home. You can find her at the True Color Hotel. You better hurry if you want to see her alive. Send Yancey, Samadhi, and Brock. No! Brock, why did you come off? Why did it? No! Christ. A passerby reported he saw a motorcyclist pull up to a gas station carrying a gun. He entered the station without removing his helmet. She then heard gunshots and screams. Well, obviously we gotta respond to some of these. We don't really have much of a choice. Room 180B is located on the top floor of the hotel. A red ball is hanging from the doorknob, and the words written on the ball read, Call the Bomb Squad. Hmm. Yeah, let's enter the room to the roof. Inside is a standard motel room, complete with a bed, beside ta or bedside table, telephone, and TV. The curtains are drawn, and sitting on the bed is a girl strapped with explosives. Red and yellow wires protrude from the bomb. Exit the room, evacuate the hotel, and wait for the bomb squad. Can't afford to be taking chances with some of that shit. Armed robbery, they handled it just fine, which is good. We're probably gonna miss this one right here. I don't know what they want me to do. I'm so short-handed right now that... I, if I don't even gonna fire somebody off my force. Yeah, we're in a death spiral now. Between the food poisoning thing and everything else, it seems like they gave us an unwinnable combo. I could have called in people from the other shift to work doubles, but I didn't think about it. I didn't know I was gonna lose a cop today, I'll put it like that. Freeburg lost to Pittsfield 12 to nothing and local fans are furious. They're screaming and swearing at the visiting team and have retreated the locker room. Himself enraged by the insults, the visiting team's captain threw his stick and struck one of the fans in the face. A massive brawl erupted involving fans, players, referees, and even concession hawkers. I'm going to try and end the days as close as I can, just because I don't really have a choice right now. Sands hasn't paid us back for helping him out with his mob war either, which has me a little irritated. I was his muscle that entire time for weeks, and we haven't seen a paycheck yet, and so that needs to happen. There's nobody else. I don't know what you want. <laughs> yeah, they, wh who are you calling for? You know everybody in the department is there. I'm not really sure like how to assist with this. They should be able to make it back in time so that we could put them out to the assault at the city center. And hopefully that'll be our last job for the day. Only need two people for over here. A taxi driver called from a payphone complaining that a violent customer refused to pay the fare and attempted to leave the car. When the cab driver locked the door, the man went berserk, broke the car's safety screen, and attempted to strangle the driver. The driver managed to escape, but the assailant remains locked inside the car. Send, no, I don't know, Samadhi and Kochi. I'll go handle it. What is this? No new frames found. I mean, unless it went down something like that right there, I have no clue. But there's no connection here. Like, we've got a time frame, so lunch at 1 o'clock, lights went out, janitor's cart was standing in the hallway. Bathroom, lights went out, sitting on the toilet, lights came on, went into head, the physician's signature, but he wasn't there. Janitor was in, cleaning out a bin.
Definitely don't know on that one. Not sure at all, but we're at the end of the day, so hopefully nothing else comes through at like 1 a.m. The shift is definitely hobbled right now, which is not a good thing. I mean, frankly, my cops are doing the best that they can. It's just that there's not enough of them. Unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. So Williams is going to get the axe. That gives us back to six officers, which is problematic. Why do they only have five officers? Who was out with food poisoning? Why do they only have five officers? That's strange. Did I forget to hire another one? I thought both staffs had seven. Or one had seven and one had six. That's strange. I'll have to look at my staffing. They'll be fine tomorrow, but we'll end the day. And we're out of time. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of This is the Police. I will see you all in future episodes. Hi to everybody.